Sersky. Oh, it's midnight, so don't talk at all, my friend. Dearly beloved, welcome back to my channel. Ah, what are we gonna get into today? We in High Bridge right now in the Bronx. Yeah. 167 to Ogden behind you. Right here is High Bridge Projects. Um, this is where like A Boogie, Cardi B is from. We couldn't leave the block because we always had to have somebody watching us. That's the four train. Anywhere you want to go in the Bronx, get on a four train on my side. I'm from the West. This is where Casanova was living with his sister. This is how we met him. He was bad as hell. He was about 16 years old or whatever. But yeah, this is where he used to live right here. It was the grittiest part of the Bronx. Okay, um, I was into music before, but the first thing I could really go into an artist was this group called Poor Ella. And on this day called Joey Bias, you can know about them, show it to you again. Um, and then that, that went into Asa, Asa Rocky, and when there was over it, it was Hamelo. To this day, it's still going to be a little awesome. And, um, I don't know, I don't really talk beige and keep it really. I have my moments, especially when I run my friends, but being that my family don't speak Asian themselves, or really, and then they... True. So Denzel shot over here too. If you look at the movies, you'll see this right here. If you turn around you, and you get this view, and you look at the movies, you'll see this right here. And you'll also see that back there. Hey, what's going on guys? It's a beautiful day out here in the Bronx. Gonna introduce you to some of my good people out here. Charlie Cole here. We in the Bronx, New York. My hood, 174th in the concourse, Lewis Morris Apartments. And I'm gonna take y'all on the tour and show y'all what my hood really like. This right here is legendary. We call this the square. This is where everybody came together at. We have our cookout still right here. It looks a lot different. It was way more spacious. They kind of made the thing come closer. It used to be a hoop right here. And I used to hang out with all the little boys. And I used to play ball with them and stuff like that. And it was a lot going on, fights, shootouts. This is where, I remember J. Lo shot her um, Made in Manhattan movie right here on these steps. She walked through here, she was on that two bus and she walked through here and me and my little brother were sitting right here on this thing right here. And this is the steps that, that's right there, it's called Walton, it's called Dub City. Um, shit is crazy over here, that's why you see them cameras down there. Shit gets crazy. These steps legendary. The slopes like I said it looks very different because we used to play ball right here it used to be way more space they kind of made it come up a little bit more and up here my mom's used to call me from that that you see that top window the window under it the 12th floor my mom's used to call me from that window and embarrass the fuck out of me <laughs> at seven o'clock every day she used to call me and embarrass me like Caress, mom! Get upstairs! All of us. My brother used to trap out the dumpsters right there. And I used to tell him when the boys was coming. I used to be like, you're <laughs> The dumpsters right there. And the door used to be able to open. Look, it's still open. Right and it leads you, okay. It leads you to the inside of the building. We couldn't leave the block because we always had to have somebody watching us. So we used to play right here. It's called Dub City, but it's really Walton. See, J Lo shot Made in Manhattan in that apartment right there. I'll take you guys over there. That's how big the rats are over here. You see that shit? You imagine? Can you imagine playing and seeing a big ass rat like that? It was the grittiest part of the Bronx. So Denzel shot over here too. If you look at the movies, you'll see this right here. 
If you turn around you, and you get this view, and you look at the movies, you'll see this right here. And you'll also see that back there. This right here is where she shot at. When she came through here, everybody was going crazy. I was supposed to be an extra, but for some reason they cut me out of her movie, whatever. I'm still mad about it, but whatever. Down here is Jerome, and this is where everything you need to have done for your car, this is where you're going to come, to Jerome. It's like 100,000 car shops right here where you could come get anything done to your car for the low. The Dominicans is going to hook you up. This they block right here. This is what they do. They just fix cars on this block. <laughs> That's the four train. Anywhere you want to go in the Bronx, get on a four train on my side. I'm from the west. That's the east past the concourse. Um, my little brother was going to that hospital. This is Bronx, Lebanon. Um, that's Walton. That's the other side of Walton right there. This is the Major Deegan. This highway takes you to Jersey and it takes you um, to City Island. It takes you deeper down in the Bronx. Me and my little brother, when we wanted to get away from the hood, um, well, not the hood, but we wanted to get away from the block to come here and play in this park right here. There's so many parks around here that we used to play in because we don't have a park on my block. So we used to come here. It looks very different, but this is where we used to come. Like I said, this is the four train. We gonna go inside though, so you can see how it's set up. You hear that music? That. That's how you know you in the Bronx. <laughs> you hear that music blasting. Dominican smoking their hookah. Yep, we in the Bronx. Look at that, mad traffic, always. That's the major league. Right. So this is gonna be Brooklyn, this is gonna be Manhattan. Let's go on the Manhattan side. All the train stations don't look the same. But this is the four train. So over here is River Park Towers, Cedric, um, 1600 Apartments, um, High Bridge, Nelson, Ogden, 167, 168. This is the west side of the Bronx over here. This is where Cardi B and um, A Boogie is from. I'm gonna be a little late. Okay. Um, This this block is legendary. This is another legendary block. It used to be a nail salon right here. This is funny. It used to be a nail salon right here. Then my mom, it's still here. Then my mom used to come and she used to get her nails just like this. <laughs> it's so crazy. Long like this too. She used to get it. You know, she used to make me sit in that nail salon all day for her to get this done to her nails. It's still right there. We got the KFC right here. They got the best the best beef patty with cheese and cocoa bread and uh, pepperonis. <laughs> so we used to come right here, sit on this line for free breakfast and lunch. So we could eat, we could have a meal. You know, my mother had seven kids, so you know, it's hard feeding seven kids. So she used to tell us, come down here, get some breakfast. She used to come down here, get some breakfast and some lunch. Wake up in the morning, you go get you a ham and cheese, uh, bologna, turkey sandwich if you're Muslim. The line used to be all the way down there, but it was free. You so we used to come. Juice? Apple or the juice, juice or the, the chocolate milk uh -huh. I used to get was my shit. <laughs> Come here, get some pizza, some Elio pizza, what? and it was lit. You don't get yeah. clowned if you talk about school lunch, free lunch. Yeah. It's a real thing. And you got mad kids. You can't feed seven. How you gonna feed seven kids by yourself? Yeah. Come on. You need millions to do that. Some people's mom just ain't wasn't home to cook. Like, <laughs> you know me, you gotta work. This is Mount Eden. This is legendary. If you from the Bronx, you know. If you from the Bronx, you know Mount. I go close to the Bronx, bro. I go Lakers to spread. Get me up, get me popping. Let me head over there. Let me get some good videos for over there, bro. Eating. They on their bike life shit heavy over here. Everybody ride bikes. It's regular. Now we headed to the concourse. That's the concourse. That's where I'm from. When it's a hot day like this, these motherfuckers is open. Oh, these shits, yeah, but it usually, it usually be blasted on the cars when they going by. This is where Casanova was living with his sister. This is how we met him. He was bad as hell. He was about 16 years old. 
or whatever. But yeah, this is where he used to live right here with him and his sister. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.